Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Essa Ryan and today it is the game that I teased a little while ago. Just how many government cards can you get in one government in Civ 6? A simple question, but we've played with a couple of mods and a couple of modded leaders over the last few years that I think if we combine could lead to some ridiculous outcomes. Ah, Pius IX of the Papal Empire. Now I ran a series with him maybe two years ago? This is JFD's Papal States mod and it is really fun. If you want a simple alternative leader to play with on the PC, this is a really good one to have a go at because the Pope and the Papal Empire is actually really easy to use. A fantastic holy site replacement that lets you purchase in shrines and temples, brilliant. The Swiss Guard, even better. We even start with one profit point per turn because, you know, we are playing with <laughs> the Pope. We've got to have a religion. It's just, it's just the thing. But something I enjoyed last time I played was the Vatican Council ability receives an extra diplomatic slot when they research the divine right and the reformed church civics. So two diplomatic slots in the government. They come online very late, but they are there. If I were to combine that, say, with Owls of Minerva, that gives me a economic slot and a wild card. I got myself all the way over to the tier 4 governments that have 8 cards in them each. I build the four wonders, Alhambra, Big Ben, Forbidden City, Patala Palace, that's another four. And then we play with the Sumus Magnus Great People Expansion mod, as well as the Great Sovereigns mods. Now these are the two Great People mods we used recently in one of my games. Again, a full mod list as well as this map, are all on Discord. If you want to come and use the mods I'm using, or even download this save file, copy, paste onto your computer, come to Discord, there's almost 12,000 people there, it's brilliant, we all love Civ. Well, I reckon we can get even more people that create more government slots. For instance, there's a general in the industrial era. There he is. Carl grants one military policy slot. There's a scientist that gives one. There's at least one merchant, Alexander Hamilton. Just try not to rap along with this game at home. He gives another one. And there's more sovereigns that give them as well. We're going to keep an eye out as we go. But the mission is simple. How big a government can we create? I think very, very big and very, very silly. Strap yourselves in everyone. The Pope wants all of the government, every government, including yours. And now for an important update. Having been expelled from Oxford University, Ursa Bear had met a man named Paul. Oh dear. Luckily for Ursa Bear, he had amassed 40,000 subscriptions. These beautiful little signatures attracted the attention of none other than Gilgabro. Scared off by the majesty, Paul retreated and left Ursa Bear to his way. Searching for new subscriptions, Ursa Bear traveled to the coast, where lo and behold, it looked like more people, more people for subscriptions. Alas, it was not to be. Ursa Bear, our sweet, innocent bear, is now trapped, harassed by giant crabs. Will you save Ursa Bear from crabs? Will you help Ursa towards his goal? Thank you so much. Back to the video. Turn one. And look at this as a start. This is interesting. We're playing today with the continents and islands map. It's eight players. Here are some details if you don't want to come along to Discord and just get the save file. It's much easier. Six players, deity, standard speed, all the usual stuff. Now I could settle on top of this plains hill. That would give my city center two food, two production rather than the two one you would normally get. I could even work the dyes or the honey or even the sheep very, very early. It also gives me a really good space for my holy site. The holy site is very fun. Half the build cost, just like the lava, allows the purchase of shrines and temples with faith in the city, but it also has a major faith adjacency when placed next to the city center, government plaza, or diplomatic quarter. It says consulate, I think it means diplomatic quarter. So that's quite fun. I could go and settle on the dies. That is also a plains hill. Ooh, that's interesting. I wouldn't be able to put the holy site down so quickly though. Just move my warrior down a little bit and see what we can see in this direction. Tribal village, okay. I could settle on top of the honey. That would give me an extra food and then I could work this time. I think I'm going to stay in place. The presence of this desert means I don't really want to move closer to it. And if I move onto the dyes, I won't be able to take the sheep or the copper off without a lot of extra tech and I really want to rush astrology as quick as I can. So I am going to found the glorious holy city of Rome. Yes, we stole Rome. <laughs> as much as that faith is really good, and I do want the Pantheon as quickly as possible, I'm going to force work the three one tile so that my city grows in five turns. And then I'll work this tile after. Just pump one scout out. It's continents and islands, so there should be at least a few people on this map. Nothing we can't handle though. The tundra directly below me. What a strange continent. Hmm, okay, so we should be at the bottom of the map then. Now, if you've seen 
me play with the Sumus Magnus mod before, you'll have seen some of the great people that have been added into the game. The Great Sovereign mod is a separate mod on top of that. I'm not going to show you through each individual great person that this adds because there are too many, but we'll kind of go through them as we look to get them. First priority though is Aristotle. Grants a three wildcard policy slots in any government. I really would like that. So once we've gone for astrology, I want to unlock my campus pretty much as quickly as I can and rush him through. Although he's only 750 faith, so we could accumulate our faith and just buy him out. I don't know, we'll see which one works best. We may have to rush some of these projects through. Look at this, one profit point per turn from the beginning of the game. It would mean that it would take 60 turns to get a religion. So in itself, it's not that good an ability, but it's a quality of life thing. Just gets you that religion a little bit faster. Hermetic order taken very good but we do need to today go owls owls are very very important to unlock all of the government slots we would want to go hermetic order is always fun though isn't it really may i say this sort of puce pinky flesh color that we've gone with today with the papal states I, let me know in the comments is this the most disgusting color scheme you've seen in civ 6 i think it must be it's right up there isn't it it's horrible oh i could put Pingala very quickly into the capital to improve it fast and we could really beeline grants to help get those early game great people. That could be quite amusing. Moksha? Mm, I could start getting more faith from districts as well. Really just jump on the faith. I mean this is a game where going cardinal as the Pope it would be thematically quite funny wouldn't it? Oh I think I have to. This is not the optimum play but I'm playing the Pope. I have to have the cardinal in with the Pope. Why, why would you not? Well okay the answer to that is very simple it's a terrible play but <laughs> other than that why would you not <laughs> i like these sort of clarifications apart from the clear and obvious reasons that you can see why on earth would you not do a thing that is a total mountain pass interesting and already you can see we have some very fun holy sites especially if i settle on the gypsum there oh yes 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 yes, yes. this is really nice i'm gonna keep an eye out for stuff like that mr scout you head your way to the north if we can find a lovely world wonder that will help astrology nice and quick otherwise we're working quite a lot of production i'm going to pop a settler out quickly and just see if we can settle on that jepsum i wouldn't normally like the last few games i have played with not settling really quickly just building the capital up a bit but i think this really works now moksha gives two faith for every specialty district now i was just waiting to see if that would count as the city center alas it does not it has to be an actual specialty district that sort of makes sense but it's still a little bit disappointing there is owls with zanzibar directly above us i love zanzibar as a city state it gives your first six cities two amenities it means that pretty much it's a 10 percent boost to all yields really good now these barbs are going to kill me so i will take them out of the game as quick as i can plus the era score is always quite nice plus i did start with the battle cry promotion from one of the tribal villages so we'll make use of that extra combat power where we can now come on there's better to be there had better be a beautiful world wonder somewhere not necessarily but look at that honey honey pearls pearls some lovely settling opportunities here we, we are in gypsum quarter by the way one two three four five six sources within a few tiles of rome wow i'm really hoping my nation doesn't want to build with any other sort of resource or material because gypsum is the only thing we're going to be able to use oh it's a quadrime literally right from the beginning of the game that's no fun oh no and it can come around and get me there as well that's not good i might have to leave these barbarians alone and that is bad news for me yep look at that oh i'm gonna have to sacrifice my warrior to take that camp out and i don't know if that's the move but i can't get away from the boat if i were to move onto this tile it could hit me if i moved onto the honey it would just move around and then i'd have to move to oh i could escape but i'd have to leave this alone mm. i want to keep this unit alive yep fine i'm gonna move to this tile and then move back up diagonally i think that's the only way i can survive this man i want astrology oh this is such a gamble we're gonna have to go potter to unlock campus now but i'm hoping i can find a world wonder please give one to me yeah there you go look it's going around now i can move back onto this tile and then we can go back to relative safety i say relative there's another barbarian encampment there oh we're gonna have to build a lot of troops in this game this is no fun at all oh big blood big flood that's no fun god king i am a god king really discipline that helps a lot so one wonder that would be quite useful is oracle 25 percent less faith purchasing on great people that's the sort of thing that with a huge faith economy i could then beeline and buy in great people pretty much as soon as they appear it's 
kind of what I want. There's really very little chance of me finding a world wonder here. I'm going to have to hard work astrology. That to me feels like a bit of a loss. I can't even really see anywhere that I'm going to find this stuff. Another moderate flood. The Rubicon. This is the Rubicon, isn't it? Yeah, this is flooding very badly this game already. Void Singers. Irrigation boost there. Oh, we'll keep moving away. Oh, that scout has found me. That's no fun, especially because I was about to move my settler towards them, but okay. Move the settler across there. We'll see if we can sink up as soon as we can. I don't, normally the scout doesn't directly attack you unless you've defeated the barb encampment, but we should keep an eye on them. Let's get a slinger quickly. Yeah, definitely need a slinger here. Now, great sovereign points. We figured this out last time. You get sovereign points from government plazas and all the buildings you put in them. There's very few other ways you can get them. There are a couple of wonders that give them, and there are a couple of cards as well, like meritocracy. This gives two points per turn. We are going to have to use a lot of faith to purchase out these great sovereigns, but they're really good. Cities receive one faith and one food for each specialty district. That's just passively going to grow your cities out really nicely, so that could be a lot of fun. This game will be such a, a balance of using resources in, in useful ways. Here is some gypsum. Castel Gandolfo. Oh, sure that's a place. Uh, here is my unique holy site though. It's got the one, two, three from mountains and then a plus two from being adjacent to my city center. Oh, it's good. It's really lovely. Really, really lovely indeed. That'll be finished in four turns. This will be finished in six turns. We can race ahead, get our religion nice and quickly. No one else is going for it at the moment. And then we can focus on getting as fast as we can the first scientist. Now, there are quite a few sovereigns that give government cards. So we don't want to miss out on them. We really don't. I'm going to, as well, hire a warrior from this barb clan quickly, because then with my new slinger and my warrior, we can go and charge it and see if we can clear it out. All of this land, I want this. This is pretty much my own space. Uh, spawn locations go. This is quite fun. We can have our own little Pope Peninsula. It's like a Pope mobile, but a large spit of land off the side of something larger. <laughs> Which is almost the same thing. Choose a Pantheon. Okay, Settler Pantheon has been taken already. We expected that might be the case. For me, it's all about great people. That's what we're kind of balancing. So either we get something like Divine Spark, which will give me more Holy Sight points to get the religion faster, but then that translates to more faith later into the game. It would also help me to get Scientist points. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I mean, other options, we've got Camps options. Yeah, like at least one camp with the honey, so that would be one food, one production. Quite a few quarries, some plantations. I haven't done River Goddess in ages. Two immunities and two housing from these holy sites because they're on the rivers. That's pretty good as well. I've used all of my high uh, appeal tiles to put districts on though. That is a little unfortunate. So we can't really go for Earth Goddess. I think we're going to get more from keeping our cities really happy and going for River Goddess than we will for anything else. So once these holy sites are finished, Rome will go to four amenities and then this one will go to two. That's pretty good. Oh, this barb camp is getting pretty wild already. Oh yeah, that's pretty wild. Let's keep this slinger safe. Try and just make them attack across rivers onto hills. Get them to play themselves. That's kind of the idea here. Where are you going to go? Yeah, you're going to attack across the river. That's fine. Four score for my unique holy site. Perfect. That's great in itself. Slinger, come down the hill. Then we'll go to do that attack. I'll fortify there. We'll keep fortified there. Promotions are what going to keep our, our troops alive. And we're going to go and see if we can kill that barb encampment before it gets out of control. Someone's all getting in, ugh, already getting scientist points. Okay, what are we going to do? It's only 1,100 gold, which isn't a huge amount. If I get some scientist points, that would be pretty handy. To do that, I need to grow the city out. Pottery will help on that. Writing will get me a campus, and at least I can rush that through. Or we can go for faith. 750 faith, do some holy site prayers. Hmm. Let's get shrine. Yep. I think that works. We're getting enough great people points, but I haven't got to rush the religion, I don't think. Oh, these barbs. This is a slogging match. And, oh, that's another slinger. This is not looking favorable. We're going to have to pull back to defensive territory. Yeah. We can kill this barb encampment, though. That, at the very least, is one success. You can be dispersed. Huzzah! Three era score, military tradition, and archery, apparently. Okay. Two scientist points now. Oh, that's no fun. They're going to get that in 29 turns. I will get enough faith in that time for about 400 faith. It's not enough. The shrine will help, but we're going to have to do some holy site prayers and boost it and hope that we can get writing down. 
It's gonna be really tough, you know? Oh, now two people are getting two points per turn. Oh, but the thing is, after this scientist goes, there aren't any other ones that I've got to really worry about. I mean, they're all brilliant. There's some amazing ones in here, but this is the only one that has an ability that's like crazy on what we want to do. Oh my lord, the barbs are in just mad on this star. Even the slinger is now here. Oh, all right, you're gonna have to just approach me. Approach me, I say. Yeah, that's right. Attack Rome. That's a great idea. Do that. Here is the prophet. Bam. And immediately we have to. There's only one choice. We have to go for Catholicism. It's it's just Pope rules. This game is going to be all about going through the city projects as quickly as we can. So work ethic is going to be the choice for me here. Feels like a strange choice, but I think it's the one. And then pilgrimage as well. Two extra faith for each city following the religion. So we're going to have to go for. So that should give me four faith right off the bat. But now we've got another four production and five production in my cities. Yep, three term project. We've got a lot more production going on in this city as well. It's slim. It's a really slim chance we're going to be able to get this scientist, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, we've pushed the barbs back now. I wonder if we can go and kill that encampment. It's going to be tough. You never know. Four points. Oh, I don't know if we can even do that. Even if we went for a library, a campus. We spent 20 turns, so we could have maybe built the campus relatively quickly and then gone from there. Would have been close. Would have been really close. I, is this even possible? Yeah, only having six turns is brutal. So I'm getting 31 faith per turn, which is pretty good. There's nowhere near enough faith to just purchase this person. So I picked up a bunch of envoys when I made my religion too, and then somebody else has made a religion as well. So I've got three envoys now. So what we can do is just give two to Zanzibar and hopefully, oh, look at that. There was the natural wonder. Where was it? Bandar Brunei to the north. If I'd gone north, we would have found it. Interesting. Good to know. Good to know. Holy Site Press. Does it make sense to try and build the campus out now? Mm, probably. I don't even have the population for it, to be fair. I can get my faith to 55 per turn, which is a very, very good early game. The scientists are being taken so quickly now. Yeah, someone's just gone Classical Republic on top of the four points. So there's a huge amount per turn at the moment going in. Just gonna watch it get taken. And as soon as it gets taken, you know what? I wouldn't normally restart a game, but I'm really curious. I wonder, I wonder if this is possible. I wonder if this is possible. We're gonna give it a go. I think I've just killed the warrior there. That was probably not the best move from a military point of view. Yep, yep, there you go, it's lost. Oh, that was not, not the play. Not the play there at all. Hello, Poland, Don't to meet you. Yes, I'd love to sample your hospitality. And there you go. On turn 42, turn 42, the governor was, or oh, the scientist was taken. All right, I probably needed about 10 turns, I reckon, on that one. If I'd got the holy site a little quicker, maybe we could have rushed it. Yeah, you know what? I'm resetting. I'm going to give it a go. We're going to try. I, I think this is possible. I think it is possible to try and get the scientist. We just got to optimize this a lot. All right, attempt two. And this time, as I settle down, I'm going to move my warrior north. And we're going to go and find the city state, find the natural wonder. And we're also going to find Poland. That way we can get the boost to writing. I'm going to try going for writing first before astrology this time. I still don't know if we've got the timings right here, but it's worth it go isn't it it's absolutely worth a go and we know this barb star is pretty brutal so do i get the scout yeah i'm still gonna get the scout i think the scout's really handy to get all the tribal villages there are a few around we want to get that settler out as quick as we can as well there's owls does it make sense to go for moksha again <laughs> of course it doesn't moksha was a really silly choice who would be good who would be useful in this case do we just go straight for owls gets me a better government right off the bat or i could go for amani and start to get some era score that way or the usual Pingala. I mean, Pingala's pretty good. Get grants, get more great people. There's quite a lot of promotions though. Moksha was giving me two extra faith per turn. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it does add up. Now, I'm gonna go Owls. Let's go Owls immediately. I won't use it for 14 turns, but at least then I've nailed my colors to the mast, you know? We're always gonna go Owls from that point. Can I move across? Yes, I can. There's two pop. The dies are now being worked to get a little bit of faith per turn, which is good. Now my scout can come down south, pick up that tribal village, which is pretty nice. And we'll go and find Bandar Brunei. Also quite like getting the second city pretty quick. It's a really nice location down there. Free gypsum. 
Well, not three, but I can trade it with Portugal. Portugal? Poland, as soon as I can. Il Kill, tribal village. Excellent. Bandai Bruno has been found by Poland already. The astrology boost is very good indeed. Go on, give me a relic. Give me a relic. Void Singers, one envoy. Oh, one envoy. I could go immediately for two gold, but... No, I don't think it makes sense. We'll head over in this direction now. I saw Paul. Yeah, Poland was settling over to the right, weren't they? So we'll head in this direction towards the dyes. Got a bit of gold there. Nice. Tribal village. A builder this time. Okay, I can't do anything with the builder. That, oh, that's not not particularly useful. Never mind. We'll we'll take it. Going to explore over here with the builder. All uh, right. Looks like Poland is in this direction. We'll just go and find them and get the tribal village just shortly after. Oh, there's the barb encampment. Still in exactly the same place, but I can still get that warrior hire, which is quite useful, and then go and just make sure that my settler doesn't get killed as I bring it down south. Unlike this poor scout, it's going to get killed immediately. No, that's Brussels. Where well, on north is Poland? Weird. They've also been met. Okay, here's the extra government policy slot already from Owls. One economic policy slot so we can get God King and Urban Planning. Let's get Discipline to help me fight the barbs a little better. Yeah, these barbs, they know where I live already. They're, they're coming to my house. They're going to knock knock the walls of my house down immediately. That's just how it goes. How on earth is Poland? How have I not found them yet? Where are they? Settler, off you go. Ten turns till writing still. Mm, not brilliant, is it? Nobody's getting the scientist points just yet, though. What was it? Turn 42. We've got a race. Eh, it feels like it should be doable. That's the weird thing here. Still haven't met them. I'm right on the edge of this boost not working for me anymore. Where are you, Poland? I think they're to the north, aren't they? That's the frustrating thing. We, we've gone in the wrong direction. Maybe my scout will save the day and find them from the other direction. You never know. Where do things have happened? Go on, find them, find them. Nope, the land ends in that direction. That's quite annoying and doesn't look like they're here as well. So, we'll try next turn. We will try next turn and see if they emerge from the shadows. No, it doesn't look like they're going to. So, that scientist may be a little slower than is optimum, but fine. We'll pick up some animal husbandry and then astrology because we're going to be rushing the campuses here. I haven't really got the time. Avignon this time. Slightly different every time. That's okay. Go on. Where is Poland? Where is Poland? There's Pantheon. Does it still make sense to go for the same thing? I think it does because the placement was really, really good for the Holy Sites. I could go Divine Spark. That would help me a little bit, but I'd have to get the Librarian to do that. And I don't think that's going to be in time. Still no points at the moment. I've got a granary built in Rome. That's how much I've been treading water here. There's l waiting waiting for the meeting with Poland. Just let me meet them. There they are. There they are. Okay, almost found them. Almost found them. Oh, this warrior. That's not fun. Two warriors. That's even less fun. There's Poland, though. Writing. Boosted. Yes, exactly. Exactly what we wanted. Right. Well, quite literally. Right. <laughs> I want to keep this as my holy site spot. That remains the same. Animal husbandry, actually. I'm going to sacrifice this sheep and put the campus down there. It's a pretty good tile. I can work some high production tiles around it. I think that's a good move, but it's gonna it's a little pricey for me unless I work the oh you know you know what I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna pop it there instead. Let's do it there instead. I want some adjacency if I can get it, but honestly it's not the science I'm looking for. It's the great people points. Oh no I can't put it on the copper. That's a masonry thing isn't it? No it's a mining thing. I don't have mining. Why have I not got mining? Ursa, what are you doing? Ah okay Okay, fine, fine. Pop it down that. We must make sacrifices. And okay, turn 28 is when the first point goes down, but it's turn 42. We know this. Turn 42. That's when it all goes terribly wrong. Oh, actually, that is plus three. It's the other side of the mountain range, so I can't really control what's happening. Hey, that's a really good find. Oh, I'll take that. Nice. 12 turns, five turns. Okay, let's just make sure we're working that tile. Good. Tokugawa, how interesting to see you. I'm sure we won't end up playing you anytime soon. I realized, oh, 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 I could be selling my gypsum. Gypsum sale. Yes, it's loads of gold. Excellent. I can save up some gold and buy a library in immediately. That'll be a few more points per turn. It all helps. It all very much helps at this point. Somebody's got two points per turn now already, but... I'm going to get some points. I, I'm feeling a little more enthusiastic about this. Poland will get the first religion, though. Just, I think I I dislike that just on, on a principle level. God, these barbs are just stopping me from improving this honey. Just a little bit of gold per turn I'm losing out on here from that. 
Actually, quite a lot of gold per turn, thinking about it, because I could be selling that to the AI. You should be going... Oh, no, the tribal village was taken. Why is it that as soon as you send a unit to a tribal village, immediately gets taken? It's always the way, isn't it? Three era score. Archery boost. Yeah, the same boost was in the same tribal hut two turns in a row. It's funny. Some things are randomly generated, but some things, I think, just load into a game on the map settings. Oh, you know what? Doing it anyway. Let's build the camp, because I can sell the honey immediately. Oh, it's not enough gold. Okay, I'll hold on. If I can pluck up enough for the library, that will be worth it, I think. Nalanda, good to meet you. Just gonna... Oh, do I hold on to this? Do I hold on to this? Oh, I do like the idea of those improvements. That's quite fun. Getting an envoy as well is a uh, plus one on libraries and in the capital. Yeah, you know what? It's gonna get the science. That's actually more useful, I think. Okay, everything's going wrong now. It doesn't matter if this gets pillaged at this point. I've already sold it. It's fine. Garrison Slinger will keep me nice and safe. Campus is finished. Two people are getting plus two. We know it's turn 42, roughly, that the library... So the scientist gets taken, but that's okay. Let's just sell this. There's 380 gold. Now we go fam like that. Campus research grants. We'll get some of these projects through. I reckon we can squeeze this through. Once we've got this scientist, by the way, there's very few other great people that are as important for us. Not so worried after that point. I am also regretting going for the campus in my second city. I wish I'd gone for the holy site in that city to just be generating some profit points. That, I think, was a bit of a mistake. Maybe maybe, maybe if we fail another time, we'll go back and we'll change it again. Yes, that is the perfect attack, because now I can just counter and kill you immediately. You fool. Good, look at this. Just passive points. It means I have to have less. Less to just instantly buy in whatever's going on here. Poland just got Catholicism. Oh, my Lord. And feed the world. What? What a move from Poland. Are you trying to anger the Pope? Oh, dear, oh, dear. I don't know if I... Can we stand this? Can we stand this? Oh, my Lord. Hey, I got an envoy from them founding their own religion, but that... I... Oh, I... That is almost attempted restart again. But I guess I don't need Catholicism. I'll go, I'll go for, like, true Catholicism. Pope Catholicism. The real improved Catholicism version 2. Watch this. I'm on six points. Next turn, I should go to eight. If it wasn't for this campus research grant. Bam. 22. So that was worth 14 points. And we are now in the lead. That is the most important thing. Yes, another project would be good. We are defending Rome. A single slinger. It's going well. Just shows you a little bit of the randomness. I don't think there will be a turn 42 scientist this turn. I think we've got a little bit more time. You win some, you lose some. There's a quarry. There's another luxury. Oh, they're selling for less and less gold. Now I'll, I'll keep this one then. Fine. If you're not gonna, you're not gonna pay me the good stuff. Keeping it. This is a good double whammy actually. We've got the campus for three era score, which is great. There's another scientist point, and next turn we'll also get one more research grant. Go on, go on, give me a good chunk. Good chunk. Yep. I think I've got to do one more of these projects and then I can get my holy site going, which I will do very shortly after. One more pro uh, project, one more holy site. It's a slightly different build this time, but I will get the policy and that is what matters. Plantation. Craftsmanship boosted again. Now I've got dies. Oh, Poland wants this one, but I think we're okay. Two turns and we've got it. Two turns and we win. Well, we don't win, but we get the scientists and that effectively is winning. It means the restart was worth it. Yep, 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 yep. No one bought them. No one bought them. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy that this seems to have worked this time. Like, nope, nope. Getting that tech has just made the research grant last one more turn. Oh, no, don't do this to me. Please, no. Please don't do it. Please don't. Oh, someone took it. They did it. They took it. <laughs> was that oh that's what I, right no we, we've learned we've learned if i go back to turn 43 and i just don't complete the tech i won't increase the production cost of the project so it will finish and i will get the scientists right hang on oh i feel so min maxi it feels so dirty all right here we go do you see it's gonna end in one turn finishing bronze working causes the project to gain enough production when it needs to finish that it didn't trigger so i'm going to take archery instead just for one turn that should in theory guarantee that i get this i really hope yep 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 no one's claimed it no one's claimed it there you go that time it worked oh that was needlessly painful <laughs> Is the wild card slot though? It's useless right now, and I've got to be careful because if I improve my government anymore, 
I won't be able to end turn. Well, not until I've uh, finished this anyway. Wow, what a start. What a start to the game, hey? Who is the next person up that we've got to keep an eye on? I think it's a merchant, isn't it? No, the merchant's not until the industrial era. A scientist is renaissance, so I can't just say no to scientist points, but I think getting huge faith in going for Oracle, these are combinations of things that I need. If I can pick up Oracle, that'll help me later into the game. Yep, I like it. Survey is pretty useless. I'm gonna pick up Ilkum instead, just in case I pick up another builder. You never know, I might. Bam, four era score. It's my unique district. I'm going to get my religion very soon. Feels reckless, but I've got such a high production start and I'm gonna go for a production religion. Etamananki, possible, you know. Quite a few tiles here. Do I just, go yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I lose it and then I'm just gonna put my production into something else. Yeah, these barbs really don't wanna be cleared, do they? They really do not want to be cleared. I don't want to give up too much ground though. That's the problem, but I've got the archery upgrade now. Yep, you know what? Give up ground. Leave them be for a second. We'll come back with a bigger army, a better army, a pepper army. That's what we'll come back with. Great profit found religion. So Catholicism has been taken from a Pope. Still not happy about that. I still think that the work ethic was the best option. So we're going to go for that. It's a lot of extra production. Annoyingly, I don't have it in my second city right now, but we'll, we'll get that. That'll be fine. And the extra faith. I just think stacking faith, it works really well. Pilgrimage. Yay. Excellent. Excellent. More era score. We're going to really finish this era score out. I don't know about this, you know. Oh, actually, I may be able to. What do you all want? Spearman. Preserve. Preserve. Actually, am I going to? I've unlocked Spearman already so that's Nalanda if I can just get one spearman how much is that 260 I think I might be able to do that in time you know yeah especially with deals like this let's pick up the spearman and then I can go one on Nalanda which gives me two of a score for taking that excellent and then two on Zanzibar giving me them as well and also making my cities pretty ecstatic at the same time and golden age achieved Huzzah! Never doubt my ability to get a golden age. If it's possible, I might do it on. And like, you see, the land has already been taken. The AI was just waiting. They were like, uh, I'm going to sit on these envoys until Ursa, you know, makes a friend. And then I'm going to deliberately give them all to that city state just so that he really feels like he's missed out. Okay, the barbs are indeed approaching, which isn't great. I'm going to have my luxury pillaged, no doubt. But now I've got an archer. That is better. Attack me. Oh, no, they're going to pillage instead of attacking. It's the barb way. Oh well, there's not much more they can do here. We're just gonna heal up, come back in greater number. They're going to regret attacking me. They really will. The barbs just keep attacking, almost killing themselves and then running away. I don't know what their strategy is here, but I, I want to question it. I really do. <laughs> There's Ilkum. I think Urban Planning beats God King at the moment, but Inspiration, two scientist points. They don't even really need scientist points, to be absolutely honest with you, but it's something, and I'll take something right now. I think I'm going to want to keep my faith, unbelievably, for great people, especially with Oracle. So Monumentality for me right now is probably the worst choice. Exodus gives me four extra faith per turn and makes my missionaries go a lot further if I do want to spread my religion around. Pembrush and Voice, that's really good as well. Culture for my campuses and for my holy site, that would take me from 5.2 to like 8.2. I actually want to get my government as quickly as I can. So I'm going to get Pembrush and Voice. This is just a game of strange choices, isn't it? Yeah, that's 60% more culture per turn. I know 60% of not much is still not much, but hey, look, it's all good. Is that the first sovereign already? It is. Wow. Okay, sovereigns we need to keep an eye on. If there are any government sovereigns, I need to know so that I can maybe reload a turn and buy them. But <laughs> There's a lot of reloading that may happen in this game, but instantly build a temple, temples provide tea production. That's useful. It's not who we need. I think I always need 750 faith in the bag at the very minimum, don't I here? Just to make sure if one does pop up, I can immediately buy them. Yeah, pushing the barbs back now. Two warriors and a spearman. This is a slightly tougher army than it was before. And somehow, actually, with all my huge production, it wasn't really too much of a surprise. But there's Etamananki. Two science and one production to all marsh tiles. That's not so important. But I do have science and production in floodplain tiles in my capital. I will take more production any day of the week. That is brilliant. Early empire. Urban planning. Probably I'm going to get rid of that quickly. No, it's not. Oh, no, I thought the wonder card was here. 
it's not, it's over that. Well, there you go, never mind. That trader will come in just in time for the currency upgrade. Oracle is still available, so Oracle's gonna get built. And a governor title. Who are we going to take? Hmm, Brussels isn't bad for extra wonder production, to be fair, so Amani would be a not a bad choice here. But I think Pingala for yields. Let's go Pingala. I love the ambition of AI sometimes. I'm gonna go and settle a one population city, and the first thing it's gonna do, start building Oracle. It's like, sure. Can't I can't even argue with that. It's just it's just ballsy. I love it. There we go. Three food as a trade route to Rome. Oh, now my second city can actually start to grow. Oh, brilliant. This scientist isn't great, to be honest. Who's still available? Patia's still available. Oh, this is a free library and they provide gold. Yeah, there's, there's some good great people available still, so I'm going to pass on you. Uh, she's not ideally who I'd want either. We're going to keep passing until we get a free library. Actually, if it's a free library, I don't need to build it. Let's go for a nice builder. Work that iron. There's two sources of iron in my empire. I like that. Just by keeping my, it's really funny, my warrior right there on this tile, not moving it. They've kind of got stuck and their settler is just sat there, not doing anything. I think they're probably too scared to move it just in case I attack it. So they should be. I will attack it. I do like it. Corvée. Instead of the scientist points, I'm going to pop that in for now. A little bit of extra wonder production. Oracle now being built even faster than before. And Pingala. Connoisseur. We can get down to grants. That'll stack with the Oracle very nicely indeed. Political philosophy. Almost there. Almost there. I want the sovereign. I want the sovereign so soon. And again, pass on that scientist. Someone else will grab the next one next turn. Political philosophy. Excellent. Excellent. Classical Republic time. Let's grow the Pope into the biggest, bestest government you've ever seen. Ilkum, Urban Planning, Corvée. Let's now pick up Diplomatic League, Meritocracy, and Inspiration. Let's get it all. We've already got six government slots, but it'll just get better. We have more to pick up. We have more to pick up. Library. Three library. Libraries give two gold. It's quite nice, actually. Oh, that's a problem. I can't actually get it to my library because it's the other side of the mountain. Hmm. All right, maybe I should have built my library. <laughs> oh, this game. It's such a troll. I swear, I swear it's just, it's just winding me up for the sake of it. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzoro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Goober, Clint Hennis, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixomatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!